It's the vehicle of choice for future kings as well as current prime ministers, and increasingly so for thousands of drivers around the world. Jaguar and Land Rover have never sold as many of their luxury cars as they did last year, with America, India and Germany seeing the biggest growth. In all, Jaguar Land Rover sold 425,000 of its luxury vehicles around the world, up nearly a fifth. The Land Rover brand, which includes Range Rover, accounted for 350,000 of those sales, up 15%. Nearly 80,000 Jaguar cars were sold, up 42% on the previous year, as the customer base widens and gets younger. Historically, Jaguar has always um, probably attracted a, a person of a certain age profile. Over the last four years in particular, the demographic of, of our customers has changed quite dramatically and we see customers of all ages come through the showroom now. And more sales mean more manufacturing. JLR is hiring nearly 2,000 additional people at its plants in the West Midlands and Merseyside, bringing to 26,000 the number of UK-based staff. The turnaround at Jaguar Land Rover has been phenomenal. Five years ago, as the recession started, demand for cars fell off a cliff and JLR even stopped making them for a while. They went cap in hand for a financial bailout to the UK government. But what they didn't do was stop focusing on quality. They aimed at the new emerging markets of China, India and Brazil, and they got them. It's certainly the case that without China they wouldn't be nearly as exciting, and they've got a long way to go still in China in growing, so there's still further spectacular growth there. What's promising about the figures, though, is we're seeing growth in India, but also in Germany and the United States, so it's a broad-based growth. And it's not just Jaguar Land Rover doing well. Last week it was confirmed that car sales in Britain are at their highest since 2007, thanks to a recovering economy and cheap financing packages. Joe Lynham, BBC News.